Good time zone chat. Happy Monday. Hope you had a good weekend. Hmm, I just the camera. Did I do it pre map? That's weird. Well, fix it again. Wrong way. All right. Do some hellos and get going. Uh, you can see I'm haven't even finished this uh, draft. We didn't finish last week played and lost to finish the stream on Friday, but didn't get around to any more of this this weekend. My tournament report is, um, boy. Well, I'll show you in my decks and it, it kind of sums it up because I saved the deck out. Here, hold on. I know I'm in your way. I'll get out of your way in a second. This beauty went one and three. I thought it was a ticket puncher. I thought, well, it is. I mean, it, it, I opened it and was like, well, I can't ask for more than this. Like, this is going to be my best shot today of uh, making day two, I think. Uh, also, because I had it most time for two. My, my worst play all weekend, and I did make some sketchy plays, but my worst play all weekend was entering again at like 8 or 9 p.m. when I was already tired. And I actually opened a crappy pool, looked at it, and then like went and got a snack and was going to try to bear down and just do it and then never actually went back downstairs. So, you know, I get all clingy about my gems and gold or, you know, pretend that it matters. Can't spend my gems and gold. Well, how about dropping 25k gold and then just i just kind of set it on fire i guess i got some some cards out of it but check out this deck it all just came together including the having the jungle hollow the uh, scoured barons on as the on color duel and the haven playing freelance um gloom shriekers looping value and had the uh, mythic dragon there's just a lot of good going on in this one but nope yeah and it, it, oh yeah don't this wandering emperor ran you know had a had a planeswalker this was really good yeah this deck was great and uh, I let it down. That's my take. That's 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 what I, that's my story. Wasn't focused and made dumb mistakes. Took my third loss on just the dumbest. You know, it's just the dumbest punt. Just the dumbest, dumbest punt. I uh, had a uh, had the um, Umazawa saga in hand. In opening hand, my opponent goes turn one, uncommon, one drop, one, one, that gets a plus one, plus one counter whenever it gets, whenever they play or cast an enchantment. I just didn't see that I had Umazawa. I mistook it for something else and um, made, a, made a different play other than snap killing the enchantment grower. And it was it was not even you know it was it was a dumb non even board impacting play. I just did not read my hand correctly, and I failed to kill <laughs> a must kill that I had the kill for. I mean, I was so lucky to even have the card in the hand to kill the thing on time. And Oppo goes uh, turn two uncommon green white lifelink enchantment 
uh, creature that makes enchantments cheaper. And then turn three, um, the saga, was it the saga that gives plus one, plus one for each enchant? It was, it was absurd. It, I just got immediately rolled, immediately rolled, and ultimately rolled by the one one that grew into a seven seven and killed me. And if I had uh, simply properly looked at my hand, and that's where distraction, I was trying to multitask, trying to do too many things at once. And it was, the, it was just the beginning of the beginning of the game. So I was trying to wrap something up and, and trying to wrap something up at the beginning of the game made me misread my hand and just completely throw it away. And I was ready to try and rattle off, you know, six straight, get the, get there on, uh, on the two loss bracket, but then just bombed out at one and three and was like, yeah, it's not great. So I, I meant to share that on, on Twitter. I mean, I, I again, I'm, I'm just over. I, I've never made day two. I haven't fired that many bullets in the end, but nonetheless, I've fired a lot. Never made day two. So if you're um, feeling like you took a stab at, at the open and it hasn't worked out so far, you're in, well, I was going to say you're in good company, but I'll just say you're not alone. How about that? So that's my little, that's my tournament report. <laughs> Completely screwing up the best pool I could uh, hope to at open. It was just so on point. Like I had the uncommon that cares about enchantments and artifacts. I had nine enchantments and nine artifacts and it was just so good. It was so good. Ah, well. I did get many other things done this weekend, though. That's why I was almost fine to not make day two. If I had made day two, it would have complicated my weekend significantly to not have had uh, yesterday free. Anyway. Howdy, Rob. What's up, Timber? Welcome, Mama. Hello, Hat. What's going on, Tuesday? Welcome, Tron. Tuesday knows this album. It's actually a fairly recent one for me, Tuesday. You're you're ahead of me. I, I can't remember what rabbit hole led me to Super Session in the last couple of years, but I only I only learned of it in the last couple of years and didn't know who Al Cooper or really Mike Bloomfield were. Mike Bloomfield, I guess, founded and was on the first album of Earth, Wind and Fire, but then left the group. But love the jam feel. You know me, I love me the jams, and uh, it was right in my wheelhouse. Loved it. Martiny, how you doing? Fantasia, welcome. All right, we got a cash in the chat. Nice job, Fantasia. That's got to feel great. That'll pay for some fake magic cards. Although, you're a going optimal viewer. You don't pay for fake magic cards. How you doing, Gar? Uh, Tron, on the other hand. Didn't get there this time. Ah, that's fair, Hammer. Yeah, I certainly wish... I mean, if I could go back in time and just buy the Kamigawa lands uh, with my gold instead of the dumb event entry, I would... Uh, here, let's see. Let's get some audio. How much are they? Oh, kick was great. If you if you think running the spinning wheel kick, it was uh, trivial trivial to get to two green in that deck by six or eight mana and that's what i was looking to do with it um i used it as a almost exclusively as at least a two for one uh, usually a three for one and at least once a four for one well, no no that was just a three for one it, i mean here i am talking about how great it was in my one three effort but i mean it really like in the sense that to, to the extent that i was at all competitive it really helped Nice. 
super parenting. Taking care of yourself and being there for your kid all in the same day. Thank you for the sub, Timber. Much appreciated. True made day two. We got another day tour. What's True's report? Worst day, worst draft of your life. Well, bad timing for that. Sorry. Terrible red green deck with nothing good. Yeah, I guess that's that's if if you're gonna if you're not gonna cash, just o three me on day two or o o whatever how many losses it takes. I wouldn't know. I've never made day two. Now I might uh, throw throw down with you, Fantasia. Let's uh, keep that in mind. Maybe not today, but don't don't toss your deck. <laughs> Vargan, I know those feels too. The baby's sleeping. Okay, I'm gonna try. Let's go. Click. Wham. Right on, Timber. Fun weekend. Are you kidding? Do I need to go show you the deck? Fine. Hat is calling me on it. So now I have to actually go rub your nose in it. All right, in the land alone, we have one, two, three, four. We have two Ecologists Terrarium, five, six. All right, six, significantly more than four when trying to get to a double by turn seven, eight, nine, or whatever. It was no problem at all. Mana was never the issue. <laughs> Mana was great. Pilot, mm hmm. Ah, uh, interesting. Yeah, I hear you. Hyper focus. Hey, Rob, thanks for that sub. Very kind of you. Some say I never heard of you. A rap burglar. Little OG for you, too. All right, let's get back to this view. And, well, actually, let's do a 1v3, I guess. No finger on the scale here, I'll do whatever. Best of one or best of three is the vote. Let me know what you think. Sevens are, a hat's already predicting wins. All right, uh, maybe that means, yeah, I'll, I, I like starting with a fresh draft. I'm gonna hop out. Some say I never heard of you, a rap burglar. Wow, it's doing it again. Rap burglar turns, is just turning on in all of my scenes. I don't, <laughs> I mean, if you're gonna get a free meme, it's a good one, but I like, Control? What's going on, Rat Burglar? Why are you doing that? More like a keeps um, meme bombing my stream.
This means um, I might turn off the redemption. I'll just re uh, reject them if uh, somebody redeems, but not a lot of bling on this account. So don't redeem sleeves and lands unless you want to pick from some dregs. I guess it's been a while since I've logged on to this account. And that's what I tell you. I, I don't I don't uh, grind four accounts a day. I have four accounts that I use to meet my magic needs. All righty. We made it. Here's the alt account. Let's get into draft view and fire it off. Some gems. Good thing I have all this gold to use on arena opens. Now if I only had time. Tron fails to do his civic duty. Eater of Virtue. We've first picked that before. We could first pick it now. Goes in any deck. Best in aggressive decks and decks making small things that you want to turn into real creatures. But you can also take it and prioritize actually trying to make the exile thing uh, work, get some lifelink, get some flying. Um, so that's a, 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 a fine enough first pick. We've also got Assassin's Ink, though. Straight up removal. That doesn't suck. Uh, Automaton is a fun build around. That's what Alexis wants. Volta Voltage Surge is good. I found it good, but not first pick, unless there's nothing else. I mean, I have first picked it. Um, rebuke, more removal. So there's a lot of removal in this pack. I don't know. Yeah, it can be somewhat rough, but if you're if you're there, I think I am. I'm gonna go eater. I. It's not the bombiest of rares, but it's it's a hundred percent to make our deck basically. So I'm inclined to to go for it. It's not 100% to be amazing in our deck, but I, but I think even in a control deck, I'm going to play this. Um, I'm kind of willing to gamble on Invoke. This is so good. Uh, what else have we got, though? Maybe there's something simply better, uh, good that's uh, not as complicated to cast with the four. We got a Rebuke. Um, Specialist is a fun build around. Maybe this wheels even if nobody's doing it, but someone probably goes for this by the end. Um, yeah, so it's not going to wheel. So if we wanted to go for it, we should uh, we should do this now. Eater is legendary. Yeah, that was the that's that's the joke. Um, all right, I'll try specialist here because of the four blue, but. Kind of wanted to just go for the uh, hedge towards the blue. Tempered and twin shot say red is un uninteresting to our neighbors. Fine to take twin shot. How about replicating that? Tempered might wheel. I've seen it wheel. I don't think it should. I love it when it's on my side and I fear it when it's across the way. Two snipers is great though. Talk about your twin shots, twin twin shots. Sphere, if we want to follow this specialist, but I'm inclined to just find the best card here and not worry about, although Modern Age might is better than Sphere uh, in the abstract. Sphere just works with specialist. Um, there's nothing really else to compete with Modern Age though, right? It's it's We've got a blue card and it's the best card in the pack anyway. So we're just going to take uh, Modern Age. Fang is fair. Hodge, I like Fang too. Uh, one drops are just important. A lot, they do a lot of things. Um, 
Yeah, good with Eater. That's fair. Giving the Eater Death Touch turns all your, your stuff into threats. But given that we have the Specialist, I'm going to go ahead and uh, grab the Modern Age. Like a raid. Awakened Awareness. Enchant Artifact Creature when it enters the battlefield. Put in so you can enchant an artifact, but you don't really do it unless it's a vehicle. Um, Iron Apprentice. Yeah. Replicating that could be all right. Land, I think, is a good call, though, Rob. I like that. It's a half color. Might want to splash. Raid is probably where I'm at. If not that, Apprentice is interesting too, but these, these three cards are the most appealing to me. On that front, Bloodfell also does the half on color thing, but what else have we got going on? Might just want the exploit itself. Uh, if we want to stick with the plan, we could take um, Puzzle Maker. Yeah, I've not been too impressed by this card, but it does a lot of little things. Tuesday likes the land. Fair enough. Probably get more of these if we want them. Hmm. Eh, we're kind of on an interesting path towards red, blue artifacts. I'm in for that. Let's, uh, I'm going to take this and look to do red, blue artifacts. A lot of good cards in the packs, so finding a lane here has been a little tough because we've passed good cards and taken good cards. I mean, that's a good problem to have, but I don't know that we're in, quote, the right seat because there's just so much good going around. Oh, funny. Yeah, I mean, it's a good instinct, right? Ah, tap the thing with a big butt. Oh, or, uh. Nothing here really matters but the land. So, I get, well, we can no, we can take the steel breaker. We just the thing is, um, I think I only want one of these, and they tend to like we'll get one. We don't need to take this now. I would take a land over a steel breaker because we don't need a ton of these. Raito Sentinel called out. Defender enters battlefield mill. I don't know what am I doing with this. I don't I don't see this. I don't understand. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do with this that's good. So I'm going to take the land and you can explain to me why I should have taken the Sentinel. Got another Fang here. You know, Hodge wanted it several picks ago. I think it's the pick now. Um, I don't. Air of Enlightenment solid too. You like the land now? The trouble with this land is it's not red or uh, blue, and I think we're red or blue. But maybe with nothing else here, we could take it. I I'll, I'll take the Fang in case we somehow backdoor into it. But like, see, I think Song Shaper here is fine, and I'm just going to stick to the plan. You like the fishy? It's not an artifact though, but oh, but it does do the. Th it is. It is part of the plan, I suppose. I just, you know me, I like two drops. Looks like Chat mostly wants the koi though. Hmm. All right, I'll go with chat, but I like me on plan two drops, I'll tell you that. Iron Apprentice is back, but we'll just take a, a Simeon Sling over the Apprentice, I think. A little more use, a little more utility out of the uh, Sling. Here we go, is what I mean. There, we've got the one we're... Uh, or we could even take the brute suit on that front, but same thing. We don't really want a ton of them, and I'll take the this one first. This land comes back around for us to consider anyway. And now note that we have two half color white splash lands. So white splash pretty easy. And Kami of Industry plays in this deck. Not necessarily, but it can. Uh depends on what stuff we get for it such as a Dragon Spark Reactor. There's also Surge Hacker Mech. We could try to wheel the reactor. Doesn't feel like 
the table is in this deck, so I, I bet we uh, wheel this. Um, if you told me we weren't, there was zero percent chance of wheeling it, Lizard, I would agree with you. But this is fine to good if we if we get more vehicles we're happy with. Uh, uh, well, a four mana shock that can crew into a five five is is okay, is fine. And then uh, if you we get more vehicles, though, it gets significantly better. We can be grown. We can not risk it. Um, so, it's close. I'll go, I'll make sure we have our reactor because that rare isn't so good that you just have to take it, right? It's not that good. Um, Re reactor's been very good for me in these decks. I don't know. I had a three reactor deck that couldn't lose, it felt like. Uh, I think it did lose in the end, but I think I went six and three with it. Uh, this saga is pretty good. What else we got? You want Imperial Oath on the splash? That's interesting. Could consider that. There's... Yeah, this is more on plan. Uh... You want the oath? The cur As said, though, the curve is so high already. Well, I think we're going to wheel the one I was looking at anyway. And here we go. A little. Uh, this makes me a lot happier to see this feller. Grab that. Another one. There's an anvil as well, and we didn't take the, uh, the black splash. We're going to take another mechanaut here. Wizard litters are like gotta take the anvil. I love the anvil gang. I've been on this is like this has been my pet card Since day one not like it was I figured it out. Nobody else did but I've just liked this since day one um, But we don't have any way to splash this and this is completely on plan. This is exactly what we're doing It would be silly not to take this here Um Terminal, we are splashing, so you could make a case for this. Is Companion splashable? I don't love it as a splash. This is a good card because you play it on two, not because you play it on 12. Um, so yeah, it's not in, it's not doing, it's not on plan. Um, neither is this really, although is anybody ever, nobody plays this. Yeah, I was looking at the turtle, we are blue, right? Um, but we're way off from that splash. I'm going to take the terminal. That's true. We do have the highlands to get, a, you know, one of the other things, but we're almost never... I just don't want to play that if I don't have a realistic shot at the, uh, at the flyer. Eh, there's stuff in our colors, but nothing that we're excited about here. I don't want a second Kami, really. I don't know if we want the first. Um, maybe we just take a Ronin to have a two-drop. Um, short Circuit. Is Interaction. Yeah, you're right, Alexis. That like Ronin is just not good enough for this deck. I've played Ronin when it's doing something, but it's not doing anything here. Decoys on plan. Specialist is just good. Hot Springs splash called for. I don't know about the. We do have one. I think we just take Moon Snare and be fine with that. Here's a prototype we can grab. This is. Uh, nice fixing, though. Maybe we just want better fixing. Really solidify the ability to white it up and potentially even then green. Yeah. 
maybe I'm just supposed to be pure is it, but the power level, the opportunity cost is pretty low to toss in a land. I guess I take another uh, Steel Breaker. There's another turtle. We can try the turtle again. Now we have a second. I like this card. I think I, it's not really on plan, but I don't think I'm going to take any of this other stuff. Skyscrapers, an artifact, but it doesn't mean it's on plan. Suit up is interesting. I'm going to take this, but yeah, I should have taken suit up. I think you're right. Yeah, that should have been a suit up pick. I was actually mixing it up with that other uh, one we were just looking at that I don't like as much. Anvil comes all the way around. I can take, take another Kamano and start building around it. Um, I'm going to take the land, though. I just don't think we're on Anvil. Nobody is. It's how it goes sometimes. These are so good. I got to get my play set of foil sweet versions for any cubing. Um, four. But yeah, we can splash this. That's true. We should just take this. It it, it can be the part of our splash, and it can uh, be something we do with the splash. Got to do it. Third of these might wheel the Mechanaut. I'm taking another Sniper. Third Sniper over third Mechanaut. And then try to wheel the Mechanaut. Nobody else is doing it. Maybe. Oh, yeah, I should have taken Chip. I just got... Uh, sorry. The, the, I got really excited by the side-to-side uh, -side Mechanaut... Um, uh, and I didn't glance, I didn't, I missed it, guys. The, if the, if the chip was in the rare slot, I should have taken it, but that's all right. Well, it, we got a good pick anyway. Take Flare here. Chip was correct. I just didn't see it. We'll win anyway. How about Octopus? You like Smelter? Oh yeah, Smelter might be better than Octo, huh? I don't think Chip will come back. It's just too good in any deck, right? Salvager? What's the Salvager? Yeah, we keep... The, the thing we keep doing with this is discarding it, right? <laughs> Alright, we'll take this. Although it's not like we're spitting out um, easy-peasy artifact tokens for sack or anything, but it's the right pick. Got some artifact critters here. I think the one four I like better than the four one, but there's also just the decoy. And it is a good artifact to sack too, that's fair. And uh, hey, I want the two Mechanauts out free decoy. Kanai is also a really fair point, Fantasia. I'm gonna go decoy, but I like your Kanai call out as well. Another anvil. We could take this, but is this even, like, good for us? We could take Anvil, but we're not, we're, we're not getting the tools to play it before the end of this draft. It's pack three, pick six. Like, I, I don't know where... <laughs> all y'all wanting to cast Anvil, you're so cute. <laughs> Adorable. Adorable. Great pickup here. Not, oh, but this might even be better. I think we want Ward to reconfigure. This is solid, but um, I like uh, I like this one a lot. Both of them on plan, but this one being almost impossible to kill early is just really nice. Another Imperial Oath, we just grab another one of those, but a second decoy 
probably filling out our twos. Although, eh, I say fill out. You know, we did pick up the Mechanauts. We might be okay here. Uh, but I'm not sure we want two O's anyway. So I'll just, yeah, take the decoy. I'm going to cut this turtle. Plane cycling seems reasonable, but maybe not for that cost. Take the boar here. Hey, it did come back. The, uh, <laughs> the rare I should have taken did not, but we did get two good picks out of this pack. Now I want some expensive artifacts. That's really, I mean, boar is nice. I want another boar. I think we might be too late for that, but if there's any seven mana vehicles, that kind of thing, like with Trips Mechanaut, I wouldn't mind. Yeah, like now I kind of want this thing. And there's another boar. I should just take the boar because it's also, um, second oath, it was legit Hodge for sure, but I like iron boar here with the Trips Mechanaut. I don't think we're playing any of this. I'll take the entry. All right. Sure. It counts. Now the white splash is free. Is it, do we need to bother? We're getting a uh, rare land out of it and an Imperial Oath. I mean, I, I like Imperial Oath. It's a lot of lands entering the battlefield tapped just for access to an Imperial Oath. My inclination is to cut it, cut the white splash, and see what straight uh, red-blue looks like. Sure thing, Tuesday. It's not going to convince me of a thing, though. I love that card. Unless unless he loves it, too. It's not going to convince me of a thing. Uh, let's cut short circuit. It's pretty crappy. And then, um, really, with all the ramp and the ability to use these boars as combats, we can, and we're best of one, we can go 16. Especially with the fixing, like we have, we're we're at sixteen. We're still nine and nine. That's a, that's incredible. We have a nine nine mana base with uh, sixteen lands. Yeah, that's true. We don't have a. Gr Although I like Kami of Industry on. Uh, we actually have some stuff for this in the Unstoppable Ogres and the the decoys. These are legit things to get back with it, and that's four of them, but eh. It's still expensive, like, to pull that off. I need, this is a seven mana play to, to do what you want. Yeah, we can cut it, you're right. And we need cuts. Let's see what our, uh, and we're at 21 creatures, so we also are looking to cut creatures. Now, what's our artifact count even? All right, we're at 19 artifacts. That's good. You barely have creatures in the sideboard. Um, no. We got Death Touch on one we're not going to play. So, no. We didn't really get there on the eater other than it being an artifact for our artifact heavy deck um maybe this can go too like automated artificer is like if i had a fourth mechanaut we would slam it over artificer and three of these is already pretty good i think we can let that go and then we're one cut away maybe it's kimono uh, but we do have the tools at two now for it. We've got one, five, six, six, well, six, seven. We got seven and sling is eight, eight cards we could have that would trigger off of a turn one Kamano. 
So that's up. That's the reason to keep it in. Oh, I think I got it. Well, I'll look Tron, but I think this is the um, side account without the full bling. You like the ogre. But there's not much going on at three. And these getting significantly cheaper by Mechanauts actually appeal to me. Um, for all this stuff that's not appealing, uh, like I, I would almost rather get rid of anything not an artifact when we've got three Mechanauts. Um, I really have a hard time saying, yeah, let's get rid of our unstoppable ogres and our uh, uh, scrapyard steelbreaker when they are so much better given the presence of the Mechanauts in the deck. Puzzle Maker is slow as well, but same thing. Like, I'm just not cutting these artifact creatures. I would rather cut... I'm going to lean into the synergy over... Um, yeah, I mean, Modern Age is, is legit possible cut, uh, but it's uh, it's pretty good. It, but I'll, I'm going to put these over here. Again, these are the... I'm, I'm putting the... I want to cut something non-plan, which means... And, oh, I meant to move that over. I know that Sky Swimmer likes the artifacts. Actually, we're not going to cut it. We'll put that back in. I think then it's one of these. And the question is which? And I think I just need to give up on the uh, Kamano. I like this card a lot, but it's really at its best on turn one. If we draw it late, it loses its luster, and it's really not super on plan. So I am going to do that. I'm gonna, it's kind of a pet card, so you know that's tough for me to do, but I think that's correct here. Hello. Let go. What are you doing? Uh, I don't know what's going on right now. I'm just putting some things in so it'll save this. My cursor still has a plus on it, though. It's weird. I've got, <laughs> I don't want a plus on my cursor. I might have to restart to get rid of that. Uh, all right, so then I messed things up, though. What did I cut that I shouldn't have? A sniper? And then what did I add that I shouldn't have? A terminal. There we go. Now I think it's right. That There was some visual glitch that glued the card I clicked on to my cursor, and I got rid of the glued card, but the plus is sticking there. So I'm going to... Um, Say, uh, triple trip three snipers, three mechanauts. We got to do something uh, about that. Um, how about it's three by three, right? So to the nines. And then I'm going to actually relog. Oh, maybe my plus went away there, but oh well. Here we go. Oh, free, free, free resources in the store. We'll go do that. Yeah, that chip should be in the deck. Very good. Oh, well. The uh, third sniper will just have to pull its weight. And yeah, I'm gonna, I am gonna. I don't think I have the lands here. Yeah, so you, got, you gave him his refund. That's good. Oh, I forgot the store. I'm going to go in, though. Remind me to go back for the gems later. All right, what do you think? What's our average win expectation for this deck? I like it at four to five range. He feels very good. I don't know what the numbers are on it. Uh, maybe people are the trouble with the numbers is it like I really want it. I want the numbers of the of only the best players. Like, what are the best players doing? 
And that I think that would help understand cards like that. Because I think tough to use cards get dragged down in data by the players who aren't using them correctly. What are we on for turn two? Do we want to get aggro with like decoy into into ogre, or do we just want to go modern age? Um, I kind of like waiting on modern age to loot when we are in the later game. That changes things. A one three is no bueno for decoy. That being said, we can still attack next turn with the ogre. Um, so, given the inability to attack with decoy, yeah, and having drawn a mountain and having a very good loot target, we should modern age. You were close, uh, Alexis, one off from casting that mechanaut on curve. But next turn we can go mechanaut into decoy. Yeah, I wonder if people are equipping too early. Like, you need to wait on, like, equipping and then having it destroyed before you've gotten any value is just a blowout, right? You just can't, that's just rough. Uh, all right, it's also rough. We can't, I could toss land here, but that feels greedy. So I think we need to toss our worst critter. And that might be Ogre. Tron is still on toss land. Spells will be cheaper, but how much are you going to push that when we would like to like ca hard cast this thing? Um, I could use literally everyone, but I want I would like to cast the boar, but I suppose I could cast the boar and then. Uh... But if uh, if Tron and Alexis give me permission to be greedy, maybe I should just do it. Point is, ladies and gentlemen, that greed. Second Meganaut three spell, that would be sweet. Free decoy. Although, uh... Ooh. Oh, that's all right. Exactly. I've, I've said that I'm not a huge fan of Modern Age on two, and that generally when my opponents do it, I feel like I'm coming out ahead a bit. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, this is exactly the creature I want to block with, and I'm going to take the offer. Um, maybe they figured I didn't want to trade with this because I can't get a card off of it right now, but now nah, I'm fine to snap this off. One mana removal spell. I'm in. Well, we're stuck on land, but as we know, as we said, we can still do a lot with this hand. We can even two spell with it if we want to go uh, decoy puzzle maker. Uh, we can also just snipe the scariest thing. Yeah, snipe this and go snipe battery. This is the more long game annoyance, but this is the biggest thing right now. All right, let's do this. Yes, I did. All the memes are loaded. If I've missed any so far, um, let me know. But uh, they, I do have new memes to share. And I could do um, the the uh, listen up is uh, is it's whose is it? It's math, right? Math, are you here? 
That's true. One man, more one mana removal for decoy would have been fine. Grave lighter. What do we want to give up here? Do we have, uh, we didn't play the Kami. We don't really have graveyard recursion. So nothing matters in terms of graveyard that I can think. Um, two, three reach versus two, three flyer versus cost reducer. So yeah, we just, we have to take the two, three reach is just the worst of the options. No, we did not cut the sword. Yeah, we're the two for ones we've gotten are just pulling us ahead here on value. And I think it's going to be tough to lose this one from here. It all it just looks great for our, our board position. And here, we don't even need to ogre this. We'll play some ground. I think we just play the scrapyard, and then next turn we can... Oh, well, maybe I'll... Well, let's start with an attack. I know I'm attacking. And... But Puzzle Maker Decoy is appealing as well. Yeah, I like that. Let's do that. It's the same amount of power anyway. And if they do something like kill our Mechanaut, we'll be glad we uh, extracted that mana value from this. How much mana value have we gotten from the Mechanaut to this game? One, two, three, four mana discounted. And now we've got a ground creature. We'll do the ogre to uh, make no blocks. We could do. We could even use the boar in the other mode. Uh, but yeah, saving two for decoy is nice too. I like that. Although nothing's blocking right now. <coughs> yeah, we'll take any action offered especially equipping a flyer with that. Oppo is done on the scry to the top, I guess. Always scry to the top. Yeah, I know it's like, why, why scry when l uh, literally 100% of the day? I guess the other boar. Don't we have two boars? But maybe I should have just uh, given that, gone ahead and, um, I don't know, of the whatever cards left, like what percentile do you think that card was of quality of draws, right? What's the better quality? Is land a better quality draw? Anyway. In that spot, when we're trying to close out a win and we've got a flyer, we can make three power and effectively hexproof. That's why I took it. I just saw how I could use it to win the game, but maybe every card in our deck was something I could see a way to win the game with at that point. Well, I guess I question your 25% because I think in the abstract, in if you're ranking my deck quality, you might put in the 25%, but in that specific spot with a, 
uh, tap for value one power flyer at the end of a game. Like it, that felt like it was it would overperform in that spot. The only problem is these uh, mech enthusiastic mechanauts do not reduce each other's costs. Yeah, we want an island, well, in the next two, so that we can go next turn mechanaut uh, familiar. No, no, that's not the complaint. I, I, I love that I have uh, three two two flyers that make my deck cheaper. I'm just complaining that they don't help each other because I'm a magic player. Uh, I have paid for my license to complain. <laughs> we all have. I know you are. I know you are. Uh, that is suspicious, but I'm afraid that what this what's happening here is actually ninjutsu. This might be a, uh, uh, a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation. But uh, turtle is yeah, turtle is a massive blowout. So I'm willing to trade one of my three mechanauts for a trick if that's what they've got. That's what we got to do. Tricks and ninjutsu go well together. Yeah, that was all fine. Getting a little floody in here. Sure, certainly no need lands in this deck with all these with two mechanauts. There's very little we can't do. We got the five mana creature that's not an artifact. That's about the most expensive <laughs> expensive thing. Uh, all right, we'll give you uh, the new one. Uh, do you? So they did you think they attacked with the companion because they did have a ninjutsu and they were we were damned if we do, damned if we didn't, or was it a bluff to get us to block to do that? What I'm asking for is because we could reconfigure this and suit up a mechanaut so that it doesn't get hit by a deal four to target attacking creature. Um I'm considering that. Uh but I I guess we do have a backup plan in that case. So I think we might be uh, sending this into a deal for death here, but I like what Alexis is saying. Even if that's the case, we do get to play this uh, and kind of set up the same thing next turn. Oh, Ward's only two extra good point, so it wouldn't even have protected that. It would just made it uh, cost them all their mana. And I should have played the Haven. Sorry, that was bad. I just uh, got in my head about manas. It's all right, we're gonna find our uh, looter and pitch these lands anyway. I mean, I don't even wanna play a seventh land, so yeah, it really just doesn't, hopefully it doesn't matter. All right, boar here cannot be killed by that pair, so we're gonna just get in and be happy about it. Uh, let's see, go for a red haven. Leave our familiar back and likely equip, equip it up next turn.
Yeah, we could throw it on boar. It depends on what they end up with on the ground. Uh, we also need to think ahead to the flipped saga. But if we're just trying to clock them from nine to zero, the familiar may be better on one of the flyers to not have to uh, undo it. Well, uh, one of the flyers, he said. No, maybe not. I'm going to play this as last land here. Sniper goes to face, right? So if they just take this, we are a sniper away from win. But Samurai uh, gets life back, so... Really, we're not, because they get to crack back uh, with at least the Samurai next turn. Yeah, so now they can send Samurai, get up to four, so they're not just dead to anything. And then we've got to figure out what options we have to close this out. It's hefty stuff there. Yeah, I wonder if this is going to give us another sniper window. Like, justice here would be... Um, yeah, Kami Flare gets it done, too. That's true. And then we get the uh, Duder on the ground. <clears throat> Doesn't... What does that really get us, though? I guess we don't have blocks anyway, and it is forced. Okay, I'll do it. That's true, Mike. At least they're out of lifelink, which might be even more important. But they weren't going to attack with the lifelinker anyway. They were going to attack with their big stuff. So, yeah, I don't know about that play. We're just kind of hanging on for a sniper. Desperately. Interesting choice to... I guess trample makes sense, but why not 4-5 back send 7-7? Seven, seven? I don't know. Um, we're going to take this, though. That's cute, Magic Gods. Super cute. Yeah, there's not a third stage of the Flood meme, but it was kind of needed there. The old 16 landers. Eh, it's magic. We're not going to worry about it. Sometimes RNG hands you a loss, and there is zero to do about it. Soften up the competition. Into the loser's bracket we go. All right, keeping this. Do we want to go decoy into reactor or reactor into decoy if nothing changes? Decoy gets us attacking right away. Attacking sooner, reactor gives us more counters on reactor. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go for it.
I get it as a knock on reactor, but it's no reason to hate it. I'll, sh I'll, I'll have you loving it by the end of this game. Uh, let's use mana in intensive stuff first. I mean, two drop reactor in this deck is almost must kill. I mean, that's pretty good for them getting some lifelink, but like, if we had to fire this off at the end of the game, we're gonna win the game. You know, especially, I mean, it, does, it goes face and creature. If it just did one or the other, I wouldn't like it as much. Although, frankly, when you're going to face, usually you're just winning, but sometimes you're picking off a creature and it's nice to get the extra face damage. Let's go, um, smelter. You want to convert the uh, familiar? We could just convert the sling, though. Isn't the sling better converted? Yeah, but familiar is a better creature and a better ability. Well, start here. I don't know, I like the, uh... Alright, well, I'll go... I'll, I'll, I think Alexis is probably right. We're gonna convert them both eventually anyway, so who cares? I could... Were you, would you leave this back to block? That was an option. I know they've got lifelink, but we are threatening a double block one for one. Would we trade Smelter for Disciple? Yeah, I, I kind of swung, swung out of a sense of I'm aggro, but sometimes you don't swing when you're aggro because uh, if the life link on the backswing is enough of a uh, backup plan, you didn't get very far. But I think we say no blocks here, and it's not that bad. Um, you know, it's almost no difference. Like, really, the only difference is whether our creatures are tapped, and it's probably better that their creatures are tapped here. Modern Age, not bad, because we could look for some land. Uh, but I kind of like pay, uh, Decoy, um, Sack, Sling, and just keep swinging. Or maybe we leave one of these back this time. So, are we doing the same thing, or do you want to keep a 3-1 to threaten the 2-3? Um, I'm kind of on just keep swinging. Especially since it's not that much uh, different. Realm's gonna get our reactor now. So look, they had to use their premium removal on this card because we were gonna win with it. That's mostly what happens, is that I play this on two and, event and eventually they have to deal with it. <laughs> or I win. Those, the, that's what's happened to me. So we got an opportunity to block here. I am going to decline again with the uh, Steel Breaker on the way. Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. You're right. Let's sack and draw. Uh, and I'll wait on the land because of that. Although I guess we're playing the land. There's I don't I don't see any world where we're not like there's nothing we can draw that's not gonna have us playing the cliffs, so I could have played it. Doesn't really matter though. 
Like, that's what I was thinking. Maybe I'll play a different land, but for what purpose? Of course you're still going to play the cliffs, Ryan. If we draw a land, we're set up to go uh, specialist into copy a steel breaker. That's a pretty good turn. All right. Oh, and they're staying back. Okay. 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 How about... Let's do the specialist still. This makes me nervous, but um, we're going to do specialist, and then hopefully we can start managing this uh, disciple situation with Value Town. Two spell, but at least they're not attacking. We found the land. Um, interesting. So we could do the double mechanop, but uh, we could just get double steel breakers right now. Um, I think that's, although, uh, oh, this has reach too. So it's not like we make a flyer, we're actually getting through. So I'm gonna go uh, steel breaker. Mm, that's true. If we do mechanot, we could keep the land for rummaging, but if we play the land, we can just... I think we'll still find the lands. I am gonna go with my gut and follow through on the Steel Breaker play. There's one we can rummage, and we can do that now, even. Mike says, wait. Oh, well. Sorry. I didn't. I did not wait. Yeah, but they they don't need... I mean, how much do they need? I figured we could do two, right? Uh... Well, this might have produced, say, a um, uh, uh, boar, and we'd have a combat trick, right? I was doing count. I didn't play it. That's what I was counting. Um, looking good, Pablo. We like this deck. We had a brutal flood loss, but uh, trying to recover against this 5-6 here, or overcome this 5-6... So yeah, let's uh, send one of our breakers. And if, yeah, this is just a threat, but they have to start throwing stuff in front. All right, so this is worth giving up our little friends. Nerve-wracking, they've got open mana and cards, so this could all go horribly wrong, but this is what we've got to try. And if it does uh, fall apart after this move here, because they've got action, well, we've got draws and... Yeah, so that's unfortunate. But just a bummer, not a game ender. We could play the Mechanaut, but I'm going to wait to double it. Sure, you can do a new... Uh... This is what Hat made for uh, such situations.
So another offer from Oppo, steel breaker or specialist for golden tail, ostensibly. Could be another blowout. <clears throat> if so, heavy. I'm going to just take this. Um, I want to try and recover. We're going to get another uh, loot and a doubled mechanaut. So That'll do. Let's go Mechanaut, double it, free decoy, double it. Let's, let's, well, let's, I'm gonna start here. I'm not sure how to do this turn. Let's see, free decoy, double it seems, <laughs> seems too good. Look, I know there are other... Th I know block and sack. I know I could have saved mana to do this, that, and the other thing. But I couldn't not do that, friends. <laughs> Some plays are forced in magic. And that one was. Oh, yeah, I could have played out the land. Sorry, you all have me con convinced not to play out lands. But I didn't want to sack anything yet anyway. Uh, I want to get value out of the sack. How do I block and oh yeah, a block and sack could have worked too. Right, right. Yeah, uh, I don't think I would have wanted to do that anyway. I'm just gonna give him another hit with the lifelink. That's fine. Yeah, I can still play the land after for the block and sack if we want it. I'm just saying I don't even think we necessarily want that. Should I play it? I guess we're done rummaging, so I don't know what else we're gonna rummage or loot. Yeah, there's no more looting, so I'm just gonna play it. Koi, thank you, Doctor. That's fair. I think it's still okay to play that there, but that's a good point. Hmm. And... What's the trample? It doesn't have trample now, does it? What are you talking about, Rob? Am I missing that it gets trample somehow? Oh, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Rob. Rob is... Yeah, you got us. Yeah, okay, got it. Bearer. Um, so given that, though, then maybe I just don't bother with anything. I think I just take this, then. That life linker was a pain. Ha 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 ha. Um, I can ninjutsu. We haven't eaten anything ETBs. Oh, too bad we can't. If this was hasty, I would uh, love to um, do this with the glider. But we can ninjutsu the mechanaut and and yeah, make some more flyers. That sounds good. Ooh, do we want to do this? Yes, we want to pay to snack on this. Can I do it all? Might not be able to do it all. I'm going to do that, though. Um... What else are we sending? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out if sending all flyers here. Probably. No, I want decoy back.
All right, that feels better. And yeah, I'm gonna play this out. Again, we have a lot of mana to spend now and not so much rummaging to do now. Probably do some gang blocks now. Yeah, that's probably a good time to do a mess with a splash type value. Slight worry. I don't think it probably will do much, but it, not nothing. Okay, only enchantments can get trample. That's called. So let's pile on. Yeah, this can go here. This can go here. And then a bunch of toughness on the Tanuki. And smelter on the companion. You're just letting this go. Yeah, Dan, that's point. That's a good point. We need six on the Tanuki. So how do we do that and still get what we want? We got to do this. We move this over to here, then we move this to here, and uh, we can take the glider off and put the glider here and just take the decoy off. How about? Oh, no, then decoy here. That looks good. Sack with steel breaker is a good point. Um, I'm going to try it without, though. Cool thing is none of my blocks are chumps. So I'm going to go with this. If we need to, if we need to get some extra, another point of toughness, we can. I mean, we are getting trampled for two at least here. Three if they go for that. If the uh, bearer turns something else into a... Hmm, um, okay, okay. This is fine. We can still do this. So now this thing is dying anyway. Uh, this can't sack it though, of course. And we just need to get uh, one more point. So yeah, we'll go like this. And I'm gonna take uh, the, this flyer. I could sack the decoy, but currently it's actually killing the bearer and we want that. I'm gonna uh, sack this. funny. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and uh, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, we just win. Win target game. Alexis got there before I could, but we got there. I mean, I waited because my brain couldn't handle the data until all the blocks were done. If I could both perfectly plan the block from the turn before while calculating out my crack back for the win, I would probably be a pro magic player. I really think that's like the let, I mean, and if, and, and Alexis has been right, you know, so it's like, um, magic is hard. That That's a level of planning. I find tough to do, especially when, uh, there's hourglasses fuses and all that stuff going on. That was a good win though. Fun game. Okie doke. Another chance to react.
We'll see what they do, but I think I'm on reactor two. Since I do have a familiar in hand. Ooh, hello, friend. What a draw. Reality chip. Who? How lucky. I wish I had a reality chip. That was my slack, not yours. Don't worry. It was on accident. It was an accident! Could uh, equip up this flyer, probably just a uh, dump hand here. Steel breaker eater. And uh, for now, Offer the familiar for the centipede, although we do that, they just block with a chip. So we'll just send the me mechanaut here. Actually, we could send because they well. Yeah, no, I'm gonna I'm just gonna send the mechanaut. Kill chip. How? I thought you were talking about this turn. We have you know, down the road we can kill the chip. Because Ward has numbers, uh, there's no numbered keywords on the list. Um, yeah, I'll take this offer. I was hoping to make this trade anyway. Oh, there you go. Yeah, Tron, it's four. <coughs> well, if I had a land, I'd go ahead and take out the chip right away. I don't. Uh, I guess I suit up the flyer. Yeah, we could swing both. Yeah, let's, let's give them a chance. Although I don't even think they block the ground. The trouble with swinging both is they just crack back with a lifelinker. I would just take it. I mean, the, the, that's my concern, Mike. You, we swing both, they don't block. And then they crack back and I'm losing a lifelink race. But they may... And I don't think they block the chip because we can actually pump this thing. So I'm going to go like this. I could have moved it. I just don't want to move this around. Uh, I don't want to have to move this next turn. I want to use all my mana next turn, and I want the sword on the Mechanaut. And a sword, the Eater on this, a 3-4 versus a 5-4. What does that matter for our defense this turn? Doesn't change much. Use some land, not getting it, but we'll drop a decoy. Um, can't sack and draw, or I would consider that. Next turn we could, yeah. But um, 
But oh yeah, and if on their attacks, we'll block it and sack for draw for sure. But we'll send the Mechanaut again. Well, let's do it. Because, I mean, that puts them a land away from dead here. Now, of course, they can get three back and go to ten. But even then, it's if the Mechanaut gets through, it's still dead. All right. Reactor won the game on only two mana. Didn't even have to crack it. Well, I'm glad we got to three. I would have definitely been bummed if we lost more than we won with this deck. Magic is magic and anything can happen, but wanted to at least clear that three mark. Nice line, Mike. I didn't see that at all. Nice on you then too, hat. Yes. You can change it. Do we have wait? Which one is that? Did I miss a short? I might have missed one from my inbox. I don't think I have short circuit going. We play a mountain and have the sniper on the exemplar. Do we want to do that? All right, if you want just any new one. <laughs> How much do we care about taking three? It is a, a red-white deck. We're up against aggro, and they're on the play. It prob And we have an ogre to block the next thing. I'm going to do it. I think we just... Uh, I'm going to not be greedy here. Yeah, I think that's Kill Bill 2. Um, it was just noting that we are on the draw against an aggro color pair with an aggro start that was like, I, I am going to just get that thing dead. Oh, man. Fix that, Tron. Great, great pair of movies. Sides with all these snipers, who needs more? You just, you just snipe away. Uh, boar for no value with sniper backup. Yeah, or ogre. I mean, not boar. That's cool. 
we can pick that off. They get to crew the suit, and the ogre doesn't get to attack unless we want to trade for the suit, which might we might. We might do that. Hmm, they're making this offer straight up, huh? I'll take it. If they attack here, I'm going to trade, and then next turn just twin snipe the decoy. I think we generate long-term value such that one-for-one -one trades are just excellent for us. We want those. Getting that thing dead before they can draw is also nice. We have at least Ogre next turn. The Cliffs is being a little awkward here. If we got a basic off the top and the Cliffs was a basic, we could just go Specialist into Boar or Specialist into two Ogres. Dub doubling up Ogres is going to be sweet. Yeah, I think we do hold Ogre for value. Uh, well, we'll see. Let's, let's see what we draw. But certainly copying Ogre is... Ooh. <laughs> there we go. That gives us an excuse. We have something else to do here. Let's do it. If there was literally nothing else to do, I would be pretty hard-pressed to not add to the board. But this gives us a good, good excuse. Hey, Fun Lover. Welcome. Fun Lover and friends. Thanks for the raid. So you don't know me, my name is Ryan Spain. I play Magic the Gathering Arena here on Twitch, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I co-created the Limited Resources podcast with Marshall Sutcliffe in 2009. Left that show to join Wizards of the Coast in 2011. And worked in R&D and on Magic Arena for seven years at Wizards before leaving to uh, start doing this kind of thing. Boar, as a 3-1, will take our sniper out of range. So I'm going to send both and hope they go for the block on the uh, sniper, and then we can bore it. I could just, uh, I could also just specialist here, but let's see if they block. You just 3-4 and hold. Let me think this through then. If, if you... Because if I go, if I go attack and they block and I do the boar, I can ogre after that. And then they're empty boarded and I've got an ogre and a full board. I get it, but I think this is a blowout. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to do it my way. I hear you, but this is so much pressure. They would have an empty board. They'd be down to 17, staring at all of this. And look, they didn't even block. Excellent. But the pressure is so huge in a situation where the sit where what's going on is them with zero, us with a two three, a two one, and a four one, with a sniper and you know behind. Like it just felt really strong. Well, they get to crew the suit in response to the boar, but then, yeah, they have to just let that, let the both boars happen so that, oh, can we, does this do, or ogre, target creature, oh well. Wow, they're going for that, okay. I would love to race Carl. 
And on that front, I'm just gonna crash in with the full full price boar. We can double sniper to the face later. Really? Why are we do? Can I go double sniper to the face over? I guess we can do this after. Put four power on the on board and double ogre to get it through next time. Yeah. Thing is, with the understand that with the dragonfly suit, we're not going to be able to ogre our way to them having no blockers. And wow, I, you know, I, gang, I'm going to go with my plan again. I, I like this. Just I don't see how. The, <laughs> If this is wrong, I don't want to be right. And game. A lot of lines there. I think they were all in service of a 99 percenter. All right, four wins. Closing in on profit. Most people had us at four or five wins in the polling, so deck is performing at a high level as we expected. Mixed expectations around the pilot, but we're doing all right. Yeah, multi-accounting... Uh, that makes for some um, unimpressive looking ranks, I'll say that. Change the plan of the Mechanaut, obviously, because next turn we can either just go a breaker or. Um, Two or those, but obviously that was uh, thwarted. So we'll go decoy instead here. So I'll go mountain. <clears throat> it's probably worth a flare, but we can uh, spend a turn on the steel breaker first. Set up a possible sack and draw with the decoy. Maybe find a better target for the flare anyway. <clears throat> yeah, now it looks like, well, we'll see what we draw, but. All right, new plan, snipe instead. Much better. <clears throat> oh, I'm pretty sure one of these got played the day and I missed it. So here, I'm going to give you a, a late meme. This is one of the new ones, but I'm, I know one of these dropped today, right? Yeah. 
Hey, we get a little combo here. Specialist, the decoy, and draw. I like it. Oh, can bounce the sniper, too. What do you think? I was like, card or extra damage? Card or good card? I don't know. Both seem really nice here. Um, up to, so we don't have to. Ninja Specialist post damage is fair. We do get more in if we're going to... This gets more damage in, though, right? Ninja after damage to bounce both. I don't understand. Oh, yeah, it is two versus two. So then... Um, But don't we need we need a ninja to it now to down to do both? Yeah. Okay. I see what you're saying. You just want to do that, but just after damage. Okay. I understand now. If I did this now, we would lose damage, basically. <clears throat> oh, stop after damage. Let's see. Stop combat damage. Here we go. I'm with you now, gang. Normally, uh, if you told me that uh, two of your creatures got bounced this turn, Ryan, I'd be like, oh, that sucks. <laughs> I got two of my creatures bounced in one turn. Turns out, it's by design. Um, let's go ahead and snipe this so we can get in with the creature we have and we'll follow with a decoy and then next turn we have boar. Well, they got some value. They got this uh, token out of it. Yeah, and they got a land too. Yeah, they got they got decent value. So if we swing in with everything, they probably just block the specialist, but we can four, five, six, seven, I can play the boar and then accept the specialist for uh, 10 damage. Yeah, that's fine. They got cards and mana, so this might not work, but this seems like the line. Make them have it, make them do something. Yeah, it feels like this is going to be hard to lose without a sweeper from Oppo. They agree. Yeah, weird to trade the creature for a little bit extra damage as opposed to uh, eating something and taking a little more damage but getting a creature off board. I think that would be a better line. Yeah, I agree, Aurora. But they may have been, I can't win this, let's just get on with it stage. Everyone's a winner, baby, that's no lie.
I don't even know the cards you're talking about, Mike. Something is that graveyard recursion? Hmm, first time our mana has let us down today. We've been very nice on the mana, but we're going to keep here on the strength of our uh, red cards. I'm rarely punished, so I'm expecting an island off the top anyway. Yep. Checks out. Two toughness, two drop. Two toughness, two drop. Two toughness, two drop. What? Outrageous. <clears throat> Well, we get Koi, or uh, if we want to snipe something, snipe, but probably Koi into Sniper is where we want to be. Especially with no play from Oppo. All right. Well, no play besides Ronin yet. Could be three damage. Pick the Koi off. No. Well, we know they don't have Flare, or they'd have used it right there. Yeah, stuck. Well, if they got, excuse me, if they got combos for this, I could see holding it. Reactor is fun with that. ETB artifact tr trigger each turn for one mana can be quite powerful in the format. Hey, Spadone. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Hope the invitational is going well. I haven't been participating uh, much be or at all since because uh, I've just reduced my schedule. I just haven't been streaming as much, but uh, good to have you here. So... This is suspicious. I'm inclined to race. All right. Well, we traded for two cards instead. Yeah, we're playing this. This doesn't give haste. I really want value from the sniper, so I'm going to go puzzle maker here. Yeah, a little extra damage. Two five, nothing to sneeze at, and the scry on attacks is going to be good too. At this stage of the game, you have the right to remain silent. I choose to waive that right. I'm going to treat this like a removal spell. I'm not running out for face damage with them at sixteen. I'm just going to unequip the sling and attack. We got a flare at instant speed, at least. Whoop! <laughs> and when is flare bad? Well, that's one spot. We're going to snipe one of those, at least. But I'm not going to use a flare on a, a samurai token. 
I will use a flare on a samurai token maybe when they're double blocking a boar or something. And we'll throw that for the boar. No, it's uh, your. It has to be a positive modification, i.e., something you did to your creature, not something done to your creature. That's true. It could be counters you didn't put on, but they're, those are positive, right? Well, actually, I guess it could be uh, like you could be minus one, minus one counters. That would be work. <laughs> that that would work. They would technically be modified. So if we send the boar now, it's going to trade for two two twos. If we play the boar and pass, we can try to do that next turn with the flare. We could also equip. Or even just send, like, equip this twin shot and send in and see if we can get some action this turn to kind of clear things up a bit. I uh, kind of need to flare the, the, the Go Shintai anyway, so I'm less concerned about trying to get a uh, flare on a double block of the boar and more about killing this before it gets out of hand. Um, so that, the thing is, so I could do that, Mike. I could equip and swing, but then we're kind of committing. I guess we could use the boar for combat at that point, so that's fair. All right, so I'm going to do the equip the uh, equip attack, knowing that I have both flare and boar available to help with combat. All right, so the thing is, boar doesn't. It's not quite as good as we want. Yeah, the um, the, the 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 we're just gonna take the trade. Yeah, we're gonna do it like this because the boar actually doing the boar doesn't save the uh, the creature. And let's do this before we unequip. And playing land. Nah, we've got uh, gold. We've got rummaging and looting. Let's hold the land. Although if we, yeah, there's nothing we'd even draw that would make us want to play the land. How do you get back to the screen to assign damage? Oh, there's some click in the UI. Not sure. Well, that's going to be enough to trade and um, sadly, even a one for one. Darn it. Smelter is interesting. We get to do something with this puzzle maker. Actually, uh, with the four toughness, I like, uh, well, smelting doesn't get us there right away. Anyway, I'm going to go with smelter here. Can't suit up token for this combat, but we could after. That was what I was thinking too, lizard, but it doesn't give us four power this turn. Uh, I get, but it just, I'm not going to go one for one boar for trash bot doesn't seem very appealing to me. So I'm going to say no attacks and then I will move this over now though.
One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's fair. Boar equip makes some sense to have ready if we draw another land. Oof. Well, now I'm just hoping to trade boar for the bot and call it even. I must have missed an email from you, Prof. I'll go look again, but um, I don't have a trash bot yet. If you, yeah, I've done Intercessor's Arrest, Master's Rebuke, Spirited Companion, and Song Shaper. If there's any other memes... Uh, please put them, just reply all to the email you sent in the first place and say, hey, here it is, and then I'll uh, I'll find it. I, I, yeah, I, I don't have it there. I, I don't have it plugged in, though. I, short circuit. It's not in the system, if it ever was. Uh, choose blockers. We get double block and trade our board, except for the sling, for their 4-5. And then we have a 5-4... It could become a 6-5. Token for 2-2. Two, two. That's true. Yeah, I like that. That's interesting, Mike. Yeah, let's do that. Eight, they can attack us for six. That's hefty, but not the end. I'm going to turn the sling into a uh, three one. If we all attack, we get eight in and they go to four and they eat the smelter. Or they take seven and trade are we willing to offer them the smelter for, for dinner? Nah, there's no need to. There's no need to. It's trying to, I would never, like, Oppo, I would just, you know, it's not getting them dead. I'm not going to risk it. And yeah, it allows for a hasty sniper next turn, which could be quite relevant. Two to the face, three haste out of nowhere-ish. And might have to... Like, pre-combat sniper, put the damage on, turn the sniper into a 3-1. It's not dead, but it's got two damage on it, and then is like... Hmm. Now it's decision time. All right. Um... I guess we go to two and then try and figure it out. But I can't block here. That doesn't make sense. Well, if they get the Ronin back, do we care? I get that we could block the Ronin, but but don't we want... I think we need the Smelter. I'm going to say no blocks. Those of you on the block plan, I'm not sure why you don't want to keep the Smelter around. That was not what we wanted. So if we go sniper, deal two, and then, yeah, I guess we have it because they have, uh, well, no, it's, they, I think they go to one. Let's figure it out. So we, well, if we, um, sniper to face. Yeah, so we go to get them to five. Yeah, we get them to five. I was sitting here trying to uh, 
trample through this somehow, but I'm overthinking it. Way overthinking it. This card needs to be something or we're good. You see what I'm saying? My overthinking was trying to figure out how to put two damage on the Kami to lead to a blocking situation that would let us... I was just... It was fancy play. I was getting all fancy play about putting damage on the Kami as opposed to just going to face. Make him have it. I mean, this is another tight one. <laughs> it's like... If this is a card, they might win. If it's not, we win. But they are... It feels like they're in the shatter pause mode of the... Yeah, the pause is not explained by the uh, something by the the hidden card. I'm just saying it seems like they're on the oh crap I lose pause. Just so. Well, you might not have underbid. It's not a prediction of what we're going to do today. It's a prediction of what our average would be if we played this event out a million times. I think four to five is still about correct. We're going to have some bad luck sometimes. But the deck is good. Two shots at final boss. Oh, I was trying to talk to Math before, and then I got distracted by life. Doesn't look like Math Core is here, though. So I'm going to wait anyway. Hmm, I could sling on one. We have Reactor. We could get Super Greed and wait for Reactor. That seems too greedy, though, with a stacked hand of endless artifacts. Let's just play the sling, play the Reactor, and curve it out. too greedy to try and turn the sling into value for the reactor. Um, I am going to play it now, though. Actually, after I attack. We can decoy, if nothing else, but sure would like an, a basic land for that puzzle maker. Although a tap land would be fine, too. Just a land of any kind would be fine, really. Uh, that might qualify in a weird way. We're going to play the Modern Age and go hunting. Uh, do I attack first? Do I offer this trade? I think I'm going to send and offer a trade. Oh, they're taking it. That's cool. I didn't think they would. I was trying to figure out if I wanted to really race and trade my one for their two. But uh, that's, that's a fine result. No land. I'm going to ditch the... One of these fours has got to go. This is on plan, but this is, like, it's somewhat on plan. It's not an artifact, but it does the thing. I think I'm going to ditch the Steel Breaker and keep the Flyer. Wow, deck. You're really pushing it. All right, now we're going to get rid of the Koi anyway. Um, yeah, decoy and... Threaten to block. We do. Where are we going? To Neverland. 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 Oh, Neverland. This card barely feels build around in this set. It, it seems like a build around, but I mean, <laughs> show me a deck that has white mana and won't get some value out of this. You know, it's just it's like it's it's build around if you want it to be stupid, right? 
Uh, hold on, I lost which meme I was uh, here. No blocks and oh, is this one? There we go. Well, we're gonna keep growing this reactor, I guess. And I'm just taking another hard crack from this boar salga combo. Could double block here. That's a two for one that we don't get to draw off of. I'm going to decline. Will you take that trade, Mike? I, I'm going to go low on life and try to fade some post reign of truth well there's a land it's the tap variety uh, i guess we want red in general more than green or more than blue um and then we play smelter yeah blue for specialist is fair but it's not gonna matter i mean if, if we get to this point we'll have our blue <laughs> Green, definitely not the right choice, though. I agree with that. Uh, am I sending the glider? I like... And we've got a bunch of stuff threatening blocks on the ground. I'm going to say... Um, you liked... You like swing all, huh? I like... Swing two. This works. Well, maybe I just want both of them back. Let's send the flyer and leave our leave our true drops back. Yeah, that's fair. Although I don't think they're, they're never in any world blocking uh, one of our two ones with the poet here. Well, this is a great matchup for our snipers if we can find a few. Gotta try. I'm suspicious, but... Trade for something. You have the right to remain silent. I choose to waive that right. No! 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 It's in the evidence locker. Well, Unstoppable Ogre could force only blocks here. Seems all right. Could also specialist and bounce. Maybe let's just get the glider back. Maybe that's what I should be doing here. I'm going to decline that now. And ninjutsu this in and get this thing out of hand. Do that. Draw? I can't. I have no mana left over to draw if you mean bounce the decoy or something. I'm not, not sure what you mean, Skeev. I'm taking power off the board because I am desperate for land. I figure the modern age will help with that. Uh, but maybe you're right. Maybe I more need to more protect my life total. But I also, like, I don't mind this double block here. Um... Sack decoy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, I just want to do the specialist play. I hear you now, Skeev. Um, yeah, 
Yeah, that's true. So we can take three. Yeah, Red Shrine is going to get us, though. But um, Lizard pointing out how much time do we have with this thing. Although they're tapped out, too, and, and stuck. So, yeah, let's say no blocks. Riding close to the edge, I know. Sniper, there we go. That helps. Uh, I kind of like Modern Age Look for a Land Channel Snipe. Can sack the reactor and get. Yeah, cycle sniper, cycle sniper sack reactor makes a lot of sense. Why can't we sack it? To to this to the smelter, not to not to Arret. Yeah. So let's do that. And at five, what are we sending? <laughs> like, oh yeah, everything but specialist, jam all, hold one back. Ogre wins. How does Ogre win? They get plus three, plus one, and get hit us for four? Oh, you're talking about Ogre win next turn. Sorry, I thought you were talking about them winning if they had Ogre. Hmm. All right, well, let me do some math. Uh, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. They go to 5 if we leave one back. They go to 3 if we don't. Yeah, whatever. Risk it, biscuit. Here we go. I don't know, there could be. If they if they double creature, it could matter. Oh yeah, I, I well what I wanted to say, uh, math, is that I did do the listen up, but I uh, I listened to the studio version of Pick Up the Pieces by Candy Dolfer, but it is a cover of the average white band song that I know really well. And I and and they're pretty similar, but I noticed that uh, she has a live version of Pick Up the Pieces that uh, is like nine plus minutes long. But I didn't get a chance to listen to that, and I would like to. I could I could talk to the studio version I heard, but if you give me a day, I or give me till Wednesday, I'll listen to the live version and speak to that one. All right, found some land. Can we win this game? We make this not block, and then we should win the game. Yes, all right. How about it? Good deck. Turns out... I mean, even when we, like... Yes, we had three... Mana reducers and three snipers, but the deck was doing well even when we didn't get those uh, mana reduction critters, you know? The snipers were important throughout, though. Uh, Arstall, you sent mine, you sent yours in um, uh, uh, via Discord, right? The, D the Discord requests are gonna have not been forgotten and are uh, up after the. Uh, the pick up the pieces on Wednesday. So very, very delayed, but not forgotten. No, our stall hang in there. Yeah, Smelter was MVP, right? Smelter just took a lot of the games we were having trouble with and value towned them out. Well, there's a reason I have that particular redemption paused. Obviously, I'm a little too... Uh, whatever to fully focus on listen ups so
Yeah, it's like, well, it felt like each game had a little different combo of MVPs from from getting us to the finish line. But that was great. A good way to start the week. I wonder how many packs. We probably have some packs to open. Yeah, double. whenever we got value off of the uh, specialist, it was game over. And that was our first pick, right? Pack one, pick one. Got there. All right, gang. Good to have you all here. Thanks for the Raiders for who've stuck around. Appreciate that. Uh, throw a follow if you haven't done that yet. Maybe we'll catch you again for another stream. In the meantime, you're going to do heavy raiding duty today as... Uh... Oh, did I have the vault? No vault yet, I guess. Uh, let's see. We got Autumn playing Magic, but Autumn is almost never playing Limited, so I don't raid them that much because of that, but we could. Semlin's doing Storybook Brawl. Oh, wait. Uh, looks like Autumn is actually doing Vintage Cube. All right, cool. With Autumn drafting, I'm going to send you to them. Great. I, I think I had my greatest level ups, uh, it, like for a single deck in constructed watching autumn pilot that deck in their big run in that one tournament what was the deck even now i'm forgetting what the deck was but i just remember going oh that's how you play this yeah yeah the mono blue i was just like because i had been dabbling with it and it's like i completely changed the way i played that deck after watching autumn in that tournament All right, nice raid. <laughs> it turned out, I thought, I was surprised too. You, you, I didn't, you know, <laughs> I didn't think there were that many choices. And then it turned out, turned out magic is magic in the end. All right, good times. Thanks for hanging, everybody. Say hi to Autumn and I'll catch you on Wednesday, okay? See ya.